hello lovelies in today's video we are going to be making a melt and pour facial soap that is targeted to take care of the acne the dark spots the sunburn on the face so if today is your first time of seeing this channel you're welcome please kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so as to be notified anytime an upload is coming from me and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by for today's video we are going to be using the jam goat milk and the jam carrot and then the right you know to make the soap so together we are going to be grating all of the soap after we have finished grating the soap like this we are going to be placing it on a double boiling met we're going to be using the double boiling metal to melt this soap yes looking at it is already melting on the fire so we are going to be letting it sit there after it has finished melting we will bring it down but before then while it's melting keep stirring the uh, the soap just so it will incorporate and go inside so they can melt completely in while the soap is melting go ahead and measure out 10 grams of salicylic acid the essence of using salicylic acid is that we need an exfoliant that is great in treating acne on the face that is why we are going to be adding salicylic acid and then we are going to be using the 25 gram of propylene glycol to melt our salicylic acid So after we have gotten the 25 gram that we've been needing for the propylene glycol, we stir those both together very well just to make sure that the salicylic acid dissolves. And then when it is when it's dissolved, add it to the, uh, to the soap on the on the fire. Add it to the soap on the fire so that it will melt very very well too. Then keep stirring until the whole soap created is completely melted. While the soap is on the fire, you go ahead and measure out 50 ml of your Quick Clear Whitening Serum. The Quick Clear Whitening Serum is an amazing serum, although it does not whiten, but it's a great serum for hyperpigmentation. It works really, really well when you get the original. So, now this is our melted soap. The soap has been melted completely. I was just adding the quick clear oil inside it. You stir it very well. Please kindly make sure you're doing this while it's still hot because when it's solidified, you will not be able to get that beautiful molding soap that you want to. So you do all of this while the soap is still hot. But if you want to add the oil, make sure that the soap is not still on the fire. Bring the soap down before adding the oil. Now we are going to be pouring the soap back to the mold just so to mold the soap back after adding the soap to the mold you just want to let it sit for some time for like 15 to 24 hours So after 24 hours, this is what our soap look like. It's already solidified and it came out really, really beautiful. It came out very beautiful. So this is what our soap looks like. So you can go ahead and try this at home. Trust me, it's going to be fine. Get a mold, grate the soap, and make sure you, you, you pour the soap in the mold while it's still hot to get this beautiful outcome so if you find this video helpful guys please kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so as to be notified anytime an upload is coming from me so i'll see you guys in my next video bye